Uh, our class for today simplify the radical expression it is the same topic from um, uh, which I, I, I show you uh, last class in algebra one but uh, this is algebra two is a little a little more difficult okay one degree more difficult all right um, the, our problem is uh, we have to find or simplify here simplify the uh, cube root of x to the 18 power all right, before to do that, let me uh, explain it to you some uh, ideas, okay? In, in, for this class, for real numbers, for real numbers, okay, uh, oh, for real number, for real number, A and B, okay, A and B, and, and, a position integer n integer n a is an nth root of b if if, uh, let me use another color, if a, if a to the n is equals b. So let me, we are talking about this uh, formula, right, ha, right here we have um, like n, this is the index, I mean I want to explain later, um, let's, uh, um, let's write a equals n equals uh, a radical b okay a is equals n radical b all right we are talking about this formula all right this is one idea so let me write a couple more ideas for this class so another one if n in this case here if n i mean the index is even this one, we are talking about this one. It's even like, uh, like this n, a to the n is equals absolutely value a. This is uh, in, the, in the case, the radical output. a non negative negative uh non negative value all right so some difference from this uh, uh let's write same thing uh it's just one idea this is another one if n is all so Look at this. Should be some difference and a little difference. Um, and right here, just write it um, uh, a n is equals a. Just simple a. See the, the difference? Absolutely value a here is a. Like that. So another idea, uh, let's erase this, this concept. Another concept, if, uh, for instance, if we have if um, n square uh, or n radical c and n radical b are both uh, n roots, then we will have n radical c times times uh, n radical d. The product will be uh, n radical c d. Right. This is another um, main ideas that we need to know before to work with this kind 
de expresión, o sea, de radical expresión. Ajá. En eh, the expression, this expression, en this expression, let's write um, in Okay, this one, this expression, and this expression, uh, and and uh, we call the index, right? And then the the symbol, this symbol, we call we call radical. And then uh, B in this problem B we call a uh, radical all right so now we are ready to solve um, our problem okay i will erase this and then uh, we will focus in, in our problem this is our problem some step we have to take in, in this step the first step um to start to start and this way, identify. So identify the type, the type of the root of the root in the question. Okay, this is our first step. So, uh, what is the question? The question is uh, like this. This is our, our problem. So, identify the type of the, <coughs> the type of the root in, in, in the question. So, in the first, second step here, second step. So, since uh, the, remember the index? Index, we index. What is the index? So the index, this is the index. Okay, I, I explain it to you. Is three in a problem? Is three? Okay. So this is a cube root. A cube. Root. So at the conclusion. In conclusion, number three. Conclusion, so factor, we have to factor the radical. Remember, I explained it to you what is the radical. The radical, this is the radical and group and group the cubes. All right, that's the, the third step. So, so let's write the problem. So our problem is right here, right here. So it is, um, uh, I, let me see, I will have uh, enough space. Because I, I don't want to erase this. Uh, I will keep this. So our problem is right here. Uh, this is our problem, okay? It will be equals, it's right equals here. And the first step, uh, right to equals uh, here. Again, we have to factor, so three factor. Uh, our problem there is, uh, let's uh, write like this. X to the six. Three. All right. So what is the what is the rule right here? This this rule is a uh, since here. Remember the the concept that I give it to you. Since um, n, we we need to focus n <coughs> is all. In this case is all. Remember our dear all. I write it to you. I mean. Uh, and like this, okay, a to the n equals, so we, it says, so the answer is, will be like that, okay? So next step here, 
it's very very simple here just uh, cancel here so it's equals six right this is the rule right here since the n is all the answer is simple in this way okay this is the answer and in this problem okay let's uh let's write another one it's follow the same step um we have to follow the same step so the next problem let's write uh to problem b let's talk about let's try to solve this problem A square root 10 24 uh, x to the seventh power all right first step remember the first step uh we have to factor uh in this case uh, i mean identify identify first step identify the index the index is right here is two right it's two so this means that the 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 root the root is a, a square root okay a square root so the factor of the radicand so this is a square root we have to factor so this is equals, let's write the radicand. So this is uh, two here to the, let's write two to the, uh, we are factor. We have to factor here two to the 10 power times x to the seven power right here we factor the radicand like here this is the factor this is what i did okay it's factor the radicand so next step next step um uh, let's um make a square uh, terms if it's possible okay make a square the term it is possible possible so let's write it right here this problem a problem so i need to write two to the fifth power uh to the second power right times x yeah x to the third power i mean to the second power right here to the third power right it is the same see yeah times x so here this is the we call make square terms right make it is if it's possible okay right here so next step next step in in, in this part is but it's just follow direction you simplify here try to group the here group let me write here group uh, this way so group the square Group of the squares. How group of the square here? So if we have that, so we need to write two to the fifth power times uh, x to the third power. We are grouping this. Both are to the second power, right? No, here here is uh is not not it's three. He sorry sorry. So it's three to the second power. Otherwise, cannot cannot group. It is the same. Okay. It's uh, just looking for because this is a square. So it's, this is, that was a mistake. This is the correct way. Okay. So in this way we are able to group. Otherwise, cannot group. So times times x. All right. See, we are there. So next step. Um, just try to simplify here how simplify here this uh, write the radical here and then just write it should be um two to the fifth power is a uh, it is 
2 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 ok 4 por 2 uh, 8 16 16 times 2 32 it is 32 right here alright I don't have a calculator so right here is 32 here 32 uh, x to the third power here uh, here um, is uh, uh, yeah write it again because uh, multiply is one more step right here just times the square root it's almost the same but look at this just write it like that so actually this term is uh, well not the same because right here is 2 to the uh, with the with development 2 to the fifth power now it's equals 2 so last step remember this uh, this uh, problem was um, remember was uh, different this is even this is even this number is when remember when it's even the problem when it's even, when then, remember if, this rule, remember, if n is even, like this, n, a, n, so then it's equals like this, all right? So then our answer, our answer here, uh, follow this, this rule, the answer is um, equals 32, right? A absolutely value of x to the third power uh, the square root x this is the answer right why I remember it's a little different from the first one I did uh, the first one was odd the n was odd remember in, in our first problem in this problem n is uh, is uh, even the n is even all right that's why we write the answer in this way